Welcome to Voices, a community project by the Poets of Parkinson's Art. Lovers first meeting, sending hearts beating, there should be no returning from this heartfelt yearning. Promises made for the rest of your life, to love each other through trouble and strife, to love each other in sickness and in health, to love each other for richer or poorer. But the love that beats within your heart is fragile like a ticking clock. Neglected love will lose its feeling like a broken clock in need of healing. So tend that love and wind that clock to keep your love beating and the clock repeating. So aware of my independence ebbing away, the fragility of my mind makes me want to give myself a hug, like the warm embrace of a parent. I rise from broken sleep, still ideas slip into my mind of what the day may bring. But my acceptance of my unwanted guest has not yet been realised. I am in mourning for the lost me. And I say to myself, if you want to, let us talk a little while. Where is the beautiful girl who opened her eyes to a day of new joys and adventure? Who leapt from the bed, hair tossled from sleep, cascading down her back, eager to start a new sketch, a new story, the rest of the world could wait. Sprawled at her desk, sat there at lunchtime, blazing in shorts and vest, sipping her coffee, sun streaming through the open patio doors, and the heady scent of lilac wafting over her. I say, I'm still here, still beautiful, still have long hair water falling down my back, and the sun is still shining. I am inevitably and slowly changing like the seasons, and I will see the beauty in each one as I reach them. And you'll ever know by John Best. Beauty in the eye of the beholder. See through the facades as you get older. Look in the mirror, see for the first time. A vision of yourself that looks sublime. You've seen the scars, the disappointment. Apply kindness, not another's ointment. Harsh opinions, insults and life's cruel taunts. The butt of this humour, ill-meant jaunts. You consider truth of your reflection. Pause and allow yourself some affection. Can you see? You're a beauty incarnate. A warm-hearted soul. Your worth is innate. A tender smile floats across your lips. A joy to others that few can eclipse. You would laugh if anyone told you so. You're more beautiful than you'll ever know. Hope is a state of mind, it does kindly remind you of what's possible after all, no matter how thick the wall, no matter how hard you fight, no matter if it feels right, hope makes you believe it's true and all the power lies in you. With hope you can move on, even if the journey feels much too long, with hope you feel the love, in you, with you and all above. Hope is everywhere in the sky, Within your heart, your soul and your body, friends and family are spending hope. Their love is a hopeful dope. I am hopeful, thoughtful, joyful, doubtless, sleepless, restless. I do move on, go the path with holding on to the love I'm given, I feel driven. I reach to that guy and say goodbye to doubts and pity, to feeling shitty. I am full of hope and optimism, please follow me and my rhythm. Hope is my state of mind, please be kind. Good 
cabinet responsibility. In my brain, I have a guilt cabinet. Not a gleaming golden box of delights, but a dank and dismal harbour of frights, swollen at the seams with memories and dreams of every sin and lie, every lazy try, every one of my selfish, thoughtless, heartless acts since I was small. Some people have a shiny gilt cabinet, golden and gay, where they put on display their virtue and good in triumphant array, celebrating success with joyous success, so woke they never sleep for fear of scaring sheep, all they do is keep polishing their halos for society's social. Mine is an overfilled cabinet, filled to the hilt since the day it was built, I know I'm letting people down. What will they do when I'm not around? Bursting more yet with things I forget. Targets not met, despair and regret for a future no longer possible. This is an easily spilt cabinet that splashes its stench on my loved ones and friends, seeps into the soil so I can't make amends. It's easy to say the disease is the blame, but at three in the morning, the feeling's the same. The sadness and shame, I'm at it again. Time to close the cabinet door and pretend that all is well once more. I know that when I'm sleeping, I am a wild woman, fully fledged. I catch glimpses when I'm dreaming, ruffled feathers in my bed. The chorus of a song or phrase in a looping thread. The boat of Ballyfirth playing restless in my head. When I was that wild woman, I wore striped feathers in my hair. Stolen from a pheasant that I caught quite unaware And I danced around the fire while the full moon filled the sky Until my legs were tired, then I sang a lullaby Softly to the simple tune made by the bubbling spay The boat of Ballyfirth, I would sing it in this way and my friend the midnight fox, the only company I'd keep. This is what I like to do when I am fast asleep. But when I am old and fully fledged, the voices from my sleep may no longer remain silent about the secrets that they keep. The boat of Ballyfirth, I may mutter it out loud when my feathers are all silver and my body's old and bowed. And in the waking hours, you may wonder what I said. What is this boat of Ballyfirth that's sailing through her head? You may find the phrase appealing, and you wouldn't be far wrong, for the boat of Ballyfirth rolls easy off the tongue. But if you dig a little deeper into the secrets in my mind, it's not a boat, it's not a song, but something else you'll find. The boat of Ballyfirth, Ballandalaf, Loch Andu are all places I have visited in my green canoe. In my green canoe, while I'm drifting down the spay, on whiskey-coloured water, as I watch the sunlight play, Nodding to the fishermen who hope the salmon leap. This is what I like to do while I am fast asleep. For I've always been a wild one, caused my mother much despair. There was nothing I liked better than wind whipping through my hair. So I'll paddle down the river in my green canoe. Past the boat of Ballyfirth and falls of Nochandu. I'll watch the heron taking flight, still grey against the sky. 
Like scissoring as it takes off, then swooping its way by. I'll marvel at the cairngorms, admire their purple hue. But then I'll keep on paddling in my green canoe. Until I reach the floodplains and the water starts to braid. And the mountains in the distance have long since began to fade. And I'll pass the muddy banks where sand martins make their home. Listen for their twittering while in my green canoe I roam. And as the sun begins to set, I'll hear a different kind of roar. Not the rushing of a rapid, but waves crashing on the shore. For this fully fledged wild woman soon will reach the sea and the journey will be over for the green canoe and me. I am lost my brain power. I'm a can soft in the heat. I know I'm not demented, although sometimes I feel the need. You may think I'm going slow. I'm just going as fast as I can. I'm going faster than you'll ever know. It's just as I'm walking, you run. You think I'm starting to slumber. You may even shed a tear. But you'll find you've got the wrong number. Because well, all you can see, I can hear. I appear to be sitting as still, as steady as a rock. Inside I'm sending signals to make my stillness stop. At times my internal traffic lights are permanently green. And then the last dirty little proteins change them. How could they be so mean? Then again I'll start to shake. No notice given, signal given. Again my brain has been detoured. To give my time I'm living. Peachy, speechy. I used to be mousy, shouty, won't shut uppy, talk hind legs off donkey. That was me. But with parky, I sound slurry, blurry, word swallowy, speak indistinctly. Vocally, I need revitalising, with some oral exercising. So now I'm starting. Tongue twister, Peter Pepper, whisper, whisper louder, roar, roar more, hum, howl, hiss, growl, meow, kiss, big grin, breathe in, breathe out, pout, mouth wide open, yawn, stretch and sigh, start low, aim high, Go from A to E to I, then O and U, as well as I can do. Sing a favourite song, practice hard and long, and once again. Mouthy, shouty, won't shut uppy, talk hind legs off donkey. Parky, but not quietly. <laughs> 